As we say goodbye to 2014, I look back. This year has been awesome. Okay, so there was the Ebola crisis and the bullshit in Ferguson, Missouri that seems to be spiraling out of control. But in the world of music, it's been an awesome year to be a juggalo. Juggalo day. Those hands being thrown up. It was on. Dark Lotus was back. The tweets that ICP, Twisted, and Blaze were all in the studio together. Shit was going down. Unfortunately, we'd have to wait. Which was okay. There was plenty of awesomeness to hold us over. Twisted released Get Twisted, as well as put out For the Fam Volume 2 for free. Over on Strange Music, Tech was set to release a new Collabos album featuring everybody on Strange. Awesome. Boondocks was back with Psychopathic and released Abaddon. Finally, after four years, a new album from the Scarecrow. He then went on tour to support the album with Buckshot, Crucifix, and Aquileo. On the tour, they released a tour exclusive, the Wormwood Tour CD, which featured, in my opinion, one of the greatest cover songs. Finally, at last, the wait was over. The gathering came and the long-awaited return of Dark Lotus with the mud, water, air, and blood. CPN said it best. This album was at legendary status, cementing that regardless whether Twisted and Blaze are on Psychopathic or not, Dark Lotus will be around and cannot be fucked with. While the hype of Dark Lotus was still fresh in our minds and ears, ICP and the Mafia 6 formed the Killjoy Club and released Reindeer Games. A new supergroup has been born. They then set out together with Jelly Roll and Mushroom Head, among others, for the Shockfest tour. My first show since 2012. Awesomely dope. During the tour, ICP intended to release a 20th anniversary Hollow Wicked collection CD, containing this year's and the previous year's Hollow Wicked tracks. Unfortunately for ninjas who hit up the merch booth at the tour, they were met with disappointment. Due to manufacturing and shipping complications, ninjas would not be able to purchase the collection at the tour. Thankfully, ICP released it on Hatchet Gear. Ninjas everywhere could own this awesome piece of history. Twisted finally announced their new label, Magic Ninja Entertainment, releasing a remastered remix version of Blaze's Gang Rags Extended, Gang Rags Reborn. Twisted was now truly set to stand on their own, with Blaze under their wing. At the 20th annual Hollow Wicked, the next Joker's card was revealed. Not just a name and a face, we also got a release date. We'd only have to wait six months for the next card. As the holidays were fastly approaching, ninjas would finally be able to scoop up the first six box set, containing all six of the original Joker's cards, as well as a new EP, House of Wax. A perfect gift for yourself or a down-ass ninja you know. This year has been one to remember. There were other releases, tours, and major events this year that I haven't even mentioned. These are just the ones that stick out the most for me. I mean, I could mention Taylor Swift making the shift from country to pop, or that Slipknot released a new album when fans thought they were done after the loss of Paul Gray, but they're overshadowed by the magnitude of awesomeness being released in the underground. I look to 2015 with excitement. We're already going to start the year off with new shit. Twisted's Darkness comes out January 27th, two days after my birthday. We know The Missing Link has two scheduled release dates in April and in July. Fear Factory have a new album in the works, as well as Tech 9 is slated to release his next full-length album in the early months of the year. So far, 2015 is looking to be yet another awesome year. I can't 